I suppose it all kind of kicked off uh, maybe last year. Uh, Emer Flatley came to us, and you know we, we kind of built a relationship with the guys in Galway. And uh, she was talking about club mark and how it could help the club. And I suppose within the club we were very much focused on getting club uh, coach education. That was a big thing for us. And Emer had mentioned about club mark. So in fairness to herself and Barry McCann and a couple of the guys in the FBI, they were really really good and they helped us through it. And we just. You know, we started listening to them, took their advice, got the programme up and running, and um, we never looked back. And, you know, we've got fantastic coaches now in the club, and they're all reasonably well educated. And the club mark helped us to structure that, especially the one star, because, you know, you have to have everything in line, your, your programmes, everything has to be there. So, yeah, it's been brilliant. So, it probably started with the entry level a couple of years ago. Um, we were kind of getting better at the governance side of football and it was put out there as something we should be doing as a grassroots club. So I looked into the bits and I was like, this is definitely what we need to be doing. It just helps you give a proper structure with the club. Um, so when we did that, we've seen benefits. Uh, we've seen massive benefits in that. I actually attracted more coaches to the club because we just seemed a bit more professional how we go about things. And then when the opportunity came up to go for the once there, we actually didn't think we'd be able to go for it because lack of facilities and stuff. But um, local officer here, Emer, convinced us that we would. She knew the club, she knew the people involved. She said, look, you're a well-governed, go for it. And we did, and we've been delighted that we did. It was a long, long couple of months getting everything in place, going down to a bit of detail. But I have to say the reward in it was phenomenal. We have girls playing with the boys' teams, but every time we tried to get girls to play football regular, um, we had no facilities and no structure, so we'd lose them to other clubs. So we had them for a couple of years, then they were gone. Um, but this is really helping us. Uh, we filled this once we advertised it outside in the public. We filled it within 55 minutes with the full cohort of 30 girls. And you can see what's going on behind me. Like We have mums involved now and everything. So it's been brilliant for us. Oh, it's fantastic. All the girls down here and my own two daughters have joined up and they love it and they love Disney. And it was just when I heard about it, a great opportunity and to get together. And hopefully the plan is to get an under eight team together here in Goy. They seem to be enjoying it and hopefully about 20 of them. If we can get 20 of them together and get an under eight team together and build on that then for the future for girls football here in Goy. It's it's great. It's great to see the you know the young girls out, and um, it's something that we're focusing a lot on this season now is to get the girls up and running. But without the one star, we wouldn't have been you know we wouldn't it wouldn't be possible to have this Disney program. So fantastic, it really is. It just gives a bit more of a kind of a like I said a professional vibe to an amateur club. You know, um, when you're asking people to come down and help out, sometimes they think they're going to be overburdened. It's like well, I'd love to help out, but you're going to give me 19 jobs and everything. But when you go through the club, Mark, you kind of you have the templates of volunteer registration forms and things like that where you have simple one page documents and you ask the person how many hours can you commit a week so they know up front there's an agreement here we'll give you two hours we'll give you four hours what's your skill set all that kind of stuff so it was easy to kind of go to the parents that you see floating around the club and you want to approach them and they want you to approach them but it can be very cagey when you're involved in football like so the club mark kind of gives you forms you can literally go over and go look if you're interested have a read through that I'll chat to you next week and it just worked out really well uh, we've gone from probably six volunteers a couple of years ago to now 26 volunteers helping to run the club. That's phenomenal for a small club like ours. Like, so.